Welcome to Afrunga DA Business School. Good morning, lovely people. My name is Miss Charlotte Adams, a teacher at Afrinwa DA Basic School, a B1 and 2 class teacher. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Are you ready for the expression? Yes, please, if you get the support. All right, sure, we will definitely get the support. Okay, bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> lovely people out there, this is Abedu Emmanuel, the assistant head teacher of Afrinwa DA Basic School. And um, this year, we would like to uh, embark on an excursion by March ending. And um, you see, these kids, one way or the other, are being taught in the abstract form. And they hardly go to the urban centers, you know, to explore. So, this year, we sat down as a committee and came up with an idea of going out there to explore. Hello, what's good, everybody? Good morning to all of you. Let's say good morning to all of them. Good morning. All right, good morning once again. My name is Eko Simpson, and I'm the principal or the head teacher of Afrengwa DABC School. So Afrengwa DABC School is a community-based school here in the central region of Ghana, located specifically in Abra Asebu Kwamankasi district. So my region, central region, I've already told you that anytime I have to do a video for my region, central region, I'm so super happy about it. So Afringwa is a school located in a rural community. When I say rural, uh, you would call it the outskirts, but we call it a village. Uh, politically, when we say a community is a rural community, then the people in the community are less than 5,000 unlike the urban areas where there are more than 5,000 people. So this is the difference between a rural community and the urban when it comes to Ghana. Now, I've been teaching here for the past 14 years, and I love what I'm doing. Uh, with your support, I've been able to build a school library, you know, supporting the Yas and Tour. Shout-outs to you, and shout-outs to everybody who donated to the success of this library. This year, this academic year, 2023, we, when I say we, my staff, myself, the entire student will love to embark on an excursion. Why do you think we have to embark on an excursion? Because in the rural communities, unlike those in the cities, when we are teaching, during teaching and learning, when we make mention of certain words or certain items, they easily visualize it because they have seen it. But when it comes to here, the villages, we barely have these kids seeing concrete or getting real experiences of whatever we teach them. That is why this year we want to embark on an excursion. But I want to ask these kids, where and where do you think they want to go? They've been, you know, when it comes to social studies, we teach them a lot. Now let me ask them, okay, Prince, tell me if we should organize an excursion, where do you want to go? What do you want to see? I want to go to Cape Coast Castle. Want to get to Cape Coast Castle. Okay, my people there will call it Cape Coast Dungeon. So don't say Cape Coast Castle. Okay, you can say, but let's start with the, you know, advocating for Cape Coast Dungeon. So say Cape Coast Dungeon. Cape Coast Dungeon. Okay, so that is where we would go and see. Now, when we go to Cape Coast Dungeon, you've seen some African Americans. I want to use that word. When they come here, they are black, but they speak English. Have you seen them? Like Yas and Tua. It was through slavery that took those black people to, to the West, to the Europe. And some of them are coming back. Those who are watching, I think this is the time for us to educate our kids about the African history. So when you go there, you learn some of these things. Uh, Sandra, where, where else do you want to go? I want to go to Kakum National Park. You want to go to Kakum National Park. Okay, she is the school prefect, yes. So she wants to go to the Kakum National Park where they would... Uh, have the experience with nature. Uh, they will be doing the canopy walkway. The, cano the canopy walkway is very tall. You, I know you are scared of height, so you will not go. You also, uh, so when we go to the canopy walkway, 
they're going to work on the canopy. And it's, I think, seven steps from the first to the seventh one. Even sometimes me, I am scared to work on it. And put up as a comment, have you been to Ghana? Did you go to the Kakum National Park? Did you work on the canopy work? What was the experience like? This is the same experience we want to give to these kids. And uh, let me ask another person, where do you want to go? I want to go to uh, UCC. You want to go and see UCC. Okay, so that is education. We've been teaching them some of these things. That is why they are saying that. So UCC, University of Cape Coast. So we would go there and learn. We'll go to other places like the football pitch or the Cape Coast Stadium. And then I have a friend. He's called Jimmy Kutin. Jimmy Kutin is the manager of Asasi Radio. How many of you have seen a radio station before? No one. No one. Because you don't travel. You're always here. Yes, they said they've not seen a radio station. So we will take the opportunity to go to Asasi Radio. Shout out to Jimmy for allowing us to come into your radio station. And they will have the experience of being in the city. Now, tell me why this is not so important for these kids. I am living in the city. I've seen it. So that makes me a little bit relevant. And I have all this information in my mind. Now, let's give these kids the opportunity to do that. This excursion is going to take place by the end of march and then we are coming your way to support us we are starting from grade four up to grade nine yes from grade four up to grade nine those you see here are from uh grade seven eight and then nine these are the kids and then grade four five and six they are in the classroom but you'll be seeing them in the video we made this video for the first one but the sound went off so you would see that there will be other images of all the other kids and then the teachers in the video. So we are asking your support. Now, we have 60 kids from grade 4 to 9. And the bus that we are going for takes 30 per bus. So now we are taking two buses. And every, each bus is charging us 1,000 Ghana cities. It's charging us 1,000 Ghana cities. And so the two will be 2,000 Ghana cities. Now, when we get to the places that we'll be visiting, we will need to pay for the entry fee. We will need to pay. When we get to the castle, we will need to pay. When we get to the uh, canopy walkway, somebody will ask, Echo, they are kids. Why don't they have to go in for free? Uh, the rule is that everybody pays to go in. Maybe later on, uh, we would have to start that motion of allowing students to go in for free. But I think their money is just less. Just, I think, five cities or three cities or so. So in all, when they get there, after we do the Cape Coast Castle or the dungeon, we do the um, Elmina, we do the Kakum National Park, and then we go watch the crocodile, we go to the FM station, we go to the UCC. At the end of the day, these kids must take something. So what do you want to eat after the program? Huh? What? Somebody just says, what do, you, what, do you, what do you want to eat? Fried rice. Fried rice. You are sick. <laughs> He's crazy. He wants to take fried rice, but we don't have the funds for fried rice. So maybe we can buy a soda and then some biscuits. So if you are ready to support us, when we put all these things together, we are looking at just $350. Somebody will say, why are you saying $350 is just? Because I am not asking one person to donate $350. I am asking about 10 people to share and pay that money. So if you're watching me right now, I am pleading with you to support that with just $50. So when we have like uh, five to seven people supporting us with $50, these kids will not even pay a dime, but they will go experience it and say thank you to whoever donated. So we are coming your way, myself and my teachers, we are asking you to support us by the end of March, that is where school will be going on break. And we want to use that advantage to go on the excursion. So we are coming your way as Afrenguadi ABC School. And then we are asking you to support us with $350 for two buses, the entry fees to these places, and snack and then food. And that is, we are looking at 60 kids all together with two buses. And then we're really going to enjoy We're really going to have fun. And we would also say, we'll make a video and say, thank you for supporting us. Okay, so I want you guys to say thank you in advance for supporting us. Ready, go. Thank, thank you, you in advance, advance for supporting us. Say bye-bye to them. Bye. Okay, come. Nicole Simpson.
connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland.